And welcome back. This is Bubble.us Part 2. And in the first session, we showed you what a how to log into Bubble US, how to get your account, how to log into Bubble US, and what a concept map or a mind map looks like. And what I wanted to do here with this uh, with this part two is create a new one. So I'm just going to click on the mind map up here, and that creates a new mind map. So as you can see, it's put our bubble right in the middle of our screen here. So I'm going to start it with a topic, uh, retirement planning. And if I use the tab, I create a new bubble. And it will also be this yellow color, which means it's going to be on the same level as this uh, current starting bubble of retirement planning. So that's the tab key. Okay, so if I just hit the tab, I get another spot. I can hit the tab, I get another spot. Okay, I'm just going to go over here and hit undo. And with this one, i hit undo and get rid of that. What I'm going to do instead is I'm actually going to do the, the down attachments, or I'm going to go from a parent to, to a sibling here. So this is what's called a, a child bubble, from a parent bubble to a child bubble. So as you can see, new child bubble. Click here to create new child bubble. Or the other thing that I can do is I can hit Command Enter if I'm on a Mac, and Control Enter if I'm on a PC. Okay? So as you can see there, it shows you Command plus Enter, and I'm on a Mac, which is why it's showing that. It would be, again, Control and enter at the same time if you were doing this on a Windows machine. So let's say I'm gonna um, talk about three aspects. Social Security and I want to go back to this spot and I want to do another one. I want to go back to this spot and do another one. So I want to go here and I want to have this be 401k and have this be IRAs, and let's see, I think I probably need one more uh, that I'm going to call personal savings. And maybe I'll pop this here. Now I'm going to give myself a little space to do something with here. All I'm doing is I'm holding my cursor on that particular green box and I'm just kind of separated out. Now the same rules apply. I'm on the 401k one now, so if I wanted to hit a tab, I would create a bubble over to the right. If I wanted to hit a command or a control enter, I would get a sub-sibling to those particular areas, okay? So if I come down from personal savings, I want to say um, CDs, savings bonds, IRAs, I'm going to hit my, move this up here so we can see, I'm going to hit my Roth, traditional, I'm going to come over here, and maybe I want to add another piece to this. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to play with the color a little bit here. And this one I'm going to say employer portion, my portion. And I'm going to go here and get color again, and let's see, I'm going to go, 
Uh, let's try that one right there, okay? So I've shown you how to adjust some colors. I've shown you how to add some various, uh, some various pieces. Uh, I can actually go back here. It's so basically what you want to consider is when you're clicking on a particular box, that's kind of like the home box at that particular point. That's the active cell. And so that's where when you hit a tab or you hit command or control enter, that's where the new bubble is going to pop up. So that's what you want to focus on. So if I go back to this spot and I hit a tab, okay, I've now created another piece here. And I just want to click and drag and move this all around so you can see it doesn't have any impact at all on where I'm going. If I decide that I want it under here, I just leave it under here. Notice it now changed colors. What this means is I have come up with another uh, area besides Social Security, 401k, personal savings, maybe I have a, um, maybe I have a pension, or maybe I know I have a small inheritance. So I want to include that piece there. Okay. If I go back to this spot and I hit my tab. I'm going to create that other one. And again, I just wanted to do the dragging around to move to show you that this right now is not attached to anything. It is only attached if I actually come in here and do the connect piece. All right, so I'm going to click here, connect the bubble. So click and drag a directional line to another bubble. So I'm going, so if I'm, I'm in that particular mode, right, what we're going to do is we can connect this wherever it is that we want to go. And so I've clicked on it, and I'm holding down my left mouse button while I have it, and I can just drag and let this go wherever I want to. Now we learned in the first one, if I don't actually get it inside, you see how the same color of my arrow, you see how once I come here, it's highlighted in that same color. So now I know I'm, act, I'm in that active cell, and there we go. Uh, my arrow has made its particular movement. So that's pretty much the basic features there. A lot of different things you can do. Uh, play around, learn a, learn a little bit with it. Uh, have your students do some of this stuff. It's, it's real easy. There's a very small learning curve on here, and I think you'll actually enjoy this one. Again, this one is called is, uh, Bubble.us, or Bubble Us, and it's a concept mapping or mind mapping software. Thanks.